how much does God love you? Happy Easter. The tomb is empty. He's risen. Alleluia. Our gospel passage is John chapter 3, 16. Last year, I had the honor, first time my whole entire priesthood, 20 years, to preach a brother's first mass. And I got to preach the first mass of Father Brian Florent of the Diocese of Fort Wayne, South Bend. He's currently in Goshen, Indiana at St. John the Baptist, which is just kind of weird because it's the home parish of my dear friend, Coach Steve Cotherman uh, at East Central High School. But nonetheless, I preached his first Mass, and the Gospel passage that Sunday was John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. This biblical passage is very highly Eucharistic. We just normally don't think of it that way. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. He did that 2,000 years ago in the womb of Mary. He did that in Bethlehem. He did that on Calvary, but he also does that every day. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son on the altar at Holy Mass. So everyone who believes in him, just as we believed in him 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem, just as we believed in him 2,000 years ago on Calvary, so those who believe that he is present on the altar may not perish but might have eternal life. Same is true with the priesthood. God so loved the world that he gave the priesthood to the world. So those who believe what the priest says, your sins are forgiven, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Will not perish, but will have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world would be saved through him. Do we realize how much we are loved? Do we realize that he loved us then, 2,000 years ago, but he loves us now? It's an active love right now. As he continues to feed the church, nourish the church, sustain the church, it's amazing. God loves you now. He loves you now. He loves you now. John 3.16, not just a biblical passage for sport games, not just a biblical passage for Protestants, a biblical passage for us to cherish, to live, to understand. Amen. Hallelujah.